What's poppin' everybody? This is Serol Final Four. I have the Dream League Japanese mini set in front of me here. This is pr pretty much gonna be the second uh, set that's gonna be bundled in for our big Cosmic Eclipse set. So it's gonna be three sets. This is the second one. It's pretty small, 50 cards. I scrolled down through the set and seen uh, the artwork on a lot of the cards. I don't know what any of them do. I don't think I checked any cards from in here before. But uh, it has some really neat stuff, so I have a good feeling about this set. So I guess we'll find out as we go along. So the first card is an Oddish. Uh, let's see. Oddish here doesn't do much. Just heal 30 from one of your Pokemon. And then you got Gloom, and then we got the Vileplume GX. I'm very curious about that one. Uh, so this Gloom, 80 HP, double retreat, and it just does Sleep Powder. Uh, defending Pokemon. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not asleep. I mean, it could have been decent because it does 24 1 and sleep, but I don't like the two retreat. Uh, since I play Vilgar uh, in the expanded tag team Gengar, Mimikyu, and Vileplume, then I'm interested in seeing better glooms. But uh, yeah, this, I don't know, just two retreat. I want to have a one retreat one. Anyway, so the first GX, Vileplume GX, I'm very curious about this one. And it has an ability, surprise, surprise. Okay, so it's 240 HP, 2 retreat, uh, weakness to fire, typical for a grass GX. Uh, really nice artwork, I kind of like it. And your ability is Fragrant Flower Garden. Once during your turn before you attack, you may heal, okay, heal 30 HP from all of your Pokemon. Yeah, I was kind of hoping they were going to give us the item lock again on a GX uh, plume, but I guess they didn't. Too bad. I really wish they did this. I mean, if they did, they released an. If they ever release another Pokemon with uh, uh, that sort of item lock from the bench, then Gengar and Mimikyu Tag Team GX becomes viable, in my opinion, in standard. But this is all you do: it's mass healing from all of the Pokemon. Now, this is actually it's still not a bad ability. In her grass, they always do a lot of healing. You combine it with a bunch of other healing tactics, and you got some. Good tanks, good tank Pokemon cards, I guess. And then you have uh, 180 for two attack. Wow. And it's going to do 10 less damage for each damage card on this Pokemon. Okay, so synergy with the ability. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Two for 180. It's quite high. Uh, these days, it's not going to get the job done on the Tag Team GXs, but at least you know you got a decent attack. Uh, normally, what you want to do is, I guess, is keep... This Vileplume healthy through the ability, through other cards, and you do 180. And then LRG Bomb GX, 1 for 50. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned, burned, and paralyzed. I kind of like this one too. Uh, it means it's essentially like 80 with the status and paralysis. And if they, if they stay there, it's additional damage, just one energy. Uh, it's kind of similar to uh, Shuckle's GX attack, but this is better since it's a stage 2. So, it's not what I wanted when it comes to the ability, because I was really hoping, I was really curious before I read this card if they were going to give us the item lock again. Uh, but it's not a bad card. It is a good card. Just not exactly what I wanted. But moving on, good card. Uh, I don't know if it's going to do much, because, you know, there's a lot of good grass support these days, a lot of good grass Pokemon. We already have a bunch of Tag Team GXs, big tank grass Pokemon and more of them are gonna come out and it just seems like they don't do much because fire is so popular and uh, you know with the weakness they take care of you no matter what alright moving on so we got a slug mama cargo uh, it's kind of weird I wonder if this is some like neo gen not neo Net genesis but neo art they just remade I don't know but 80 HP, 3 retreat, and you just burn. Okay. And this Macargo. Uh, kind of. It also reminds me of some. You know, OG cards. I don't know. I could be wrong. It's 120. Stomp off. Discard the two top cards of your opponent's deck. <sighs> At least as a stage one. And flamethrower. Discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. 80 for 2. Yeah. Seems decent, but cards like these won't do it anymore these days, uh, the way the format is. It's sad, but it's the reality. 
Uh, let's not get into the format though, because it's going to get depressing. Uh, but there's my cargo, and then we got another Torquil. Uh, looking, looking good, looking good. Which got 110 HP and Fire Fling. Put four energy. Put four Fire Energy from your Discapol into your hand. Okay, so this is a good attack. It takes up your attack, but it's some good Fire recovery. And then for three Fire, you do 100 and discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. Discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So I guess you can tech this in fire decks if you want to, you know, the Welder, Reshiram decks, all that stuff in Standard and Expanded, you could do that too. There's a lot of fire support, but there's a lot of competition between, you know, regular basic fire Pokemon. So I don't know, I don't see myself using this in like Raybor, for example. And, you know, there's just, when there's a card like Fire Crystal that gets the fire energy so easily into the hand, and it's just an item, then this card sort of, uh, it, it's kind of too difficult to justify to play. So yeah, too bad. And then we got a Weevil and Sneasel. I'm not going to lie, we got a lot in this Sun and Moon era. Uh, lots of Weevil love. Uh, but it's water, this is a water type. Uh, I really like this. It's it's only been one other instance where, actually Weevil was a water Pokemon. And that was in, I believe, Secret Wonders. I'm pretty sure. Either Secret Wonders or Great Encounters. One of those two sets. I'm not too sure. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, you got to remember this is an Ice-type Pokemon. So Ice in the TCG is Water. It does seem pretty crazy. Pretty weird to see like a Sneasel and you see Water Pokemon. But that's how it is. Uh, it just does agility. Nothing else. And let's look at Weavile. Very curious about you. So 90 HP. Uh, do you get the free retreat? Let's see. Uh, come on, load. It does get it. That's pretty good. And it's got two attacks, nasty plot, search your deck for two cards, put them into your hand, and then slash claw, just 110 for three. So the the main attack, I guess, that does one for ten, it's not that great for a stage one like this. It's not going to get the job done. But Nasty Plot, uh, just grab two cards. It is good. I mean, for one dark, Huba GX does this as well. And that's probably, yeah, it's another it's another card that sort of makes this, why would I want to play this instead of Hoopa? But, yeah, man, it's just too bad. It's too bad when they do this. It's like they make cards and they're just pretty much straight up, in a way, inferior. Because, yeah, this is just going to give one prize, but... Stage 1, less HP, you know, free retreat is good, but, yeah. Uh, just Hoopa GX is probably going to be better. And we got an Empoleon line. Uh, very curious about you as well. Yeah, so far things aren't that good. <laughs> just Vileplume was a good card. So, wow, this, this Piplup has a 3 water energy attack straight up. 80. And during your opponent's next turn, the defending basic Pokemon uh, cannot use attacks. Wow. So I'm getting some sort of um, uh, memory berry, just memory sort of uh, uh, tactics vibes here. I wonder what the Empoleon is going to do. Uh, but yeah, if you get something like Empoleon out and then you have the Shrine of Memories in the Expanded, or like the, I think there's like a memory energy or something. One of those special energies letting you use attacks from your pre-evolutions. Then this is actually pretty good. Uh, defending Pokemon can't, defending basic Pokemon cannot use attacks. So you basically make all the attack team GXs not be able to attack. So that's good. Three water energy is a lot though. I wonder how are you going to make this work. I mean, technically, since this is a basic Pokemon too, even if you don't get Empoleon out and do like the memory stuff, uh, you could use Blastoise from Team Up and just try and use this, but it's very risky. It's only 60 HP, but I guess if you want to do something like that, high risk, high reward, uh, the meta is just pretty much Tag Team GX Pokemon now, so could work. Let's look at the other guys, though. We got a Primplup. Uh, 80 HP. I wish you were a little higher. 
80 and a double retreat. That's not good. Should have been like 90, 100. Anyway, you got water drip, 20 for 1. And then direct dive. Discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 100 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay, so this guy also has an attack you normally wouldn't see on a stage 1. So, yeah, I'm getting... I think I have an idea of what that Empoleon is going to be doing. But let's just let's keep going. This is a good attack. It's pretty much a snipe. Uh, you discard everything, but 100 for a snipe is, is solid. Uh, okay. And then Empoleon, the big question, what do you do? So recall, choose one of this Pokemon's attacks from its pre -evolu previous evolution and use it as this attack. Okay, yeah, I knew it. I knew you were going to do something like this. I thought it was going to be an ability, but I guess they made it through an attack, which is it's actually pretty good. I think it's better this way. Uh, it means you don't have to worry about ability lock and stuff. So it just gives you the opportunity to use the snipe attack of Primplop and the uh, immune to basic Pokemon attack from Piplup. So that's pretty, pretty good. Now, if you're going to evolve through this dude through Rare Candy, which you will probably do, it means you won't always have that snipe attack around. But, I mean, the real, the real great attack you want to abuse is probably the one Piplup. So Recall is really interesting. And it's normal attack, I guess, Aquafall. 130 for 2, discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. Uh, this attack isn't very good. It's average damage for 2 energy for a stage 2 these days. And discarding all of the energies, I don't like this at all. So, yeah, you're just pretty much going to rely on Piplup. Piplup's attack with Recall. So, you know what? I mean, I there's the new I uh, think Purloin is what it's called. No, Purloin is the first form. Uh, th that cat, uh, I forget its name. Uh, but the dark cat from black and white, Purloin is the first form. The second form just doesn't come to mind right now. Uh, but that Pokemon does have a similar attack where you just make basic Pokemon uh, not be able to attack. And I thought it was going to be decent, but then I realized, hey, three energies, how are you going to power that dude up? This, because it's just technically one energy, if you use Recall, might be something. So this is another stage two, I guess, that's interesting for me. Uh, I will want to use this if I ever get it. Uh, okay. Spend enough time on you. And then we got a Timpole, and it's here on its own. So that means that the Seismitoad is going to be like a ground type. Uh, Pretty interesting. It's going to be a fighting fighting guy. So you don't do much. Just flail around. Coin flip attack. We got Wishy Washy there. Basic Pokemon with 180 HP. And you've got Disperse. This Pokemon has any damage counters on it. At the end of your opponent's turn, flip a coin. If Tails, shuffle this card back into the deck. Uh, I, I'm not too keen on this ability, and not because it's bad, it's because it, it can make a lot of uh, annoying things. Uh, any damage counters, uh, for a coin, yeah, so, if he gets hurt, doesn't die, and at the end of the turn, you can shuffle back in the, I mean, if you don't have bench Pokemon, you're gonna lose, so you gotta be careful, but. I don't like this ability. I don't. And then Hydro Splash. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to use this Pokemon for the attack. It's just for the ability and the HP. Just more stall stuff or annoying stuff anyway. Moving on. Do Biter. Do Piter. Don't do anything. And then Araquanid. They printed a lot of these uh, water spider cards. Sun and Moon Pokemon, and none of them have done anything. So this one does Headbutt and Liquidation. Liquidation, I think that's how you say it. During your next turn, if any Pokemon receives 60 more damage from attacks. What? Wait, so you're telling me you're going to do 80 for 3 and 
we're gonna get hurt even more. No, that can't be right. I think it just means you do 60 more. Uh, otherwise, it's just terrible. I mean, it's it's bad either way. So yeah, forget about you. Terrible artwork as well. So Pikachu and Raichu, you're here once again. Uh, interesting Pikachu art there. Exposing its tail like that. I don't know. Nuzzle. So you've got Nuzzle. Pretty interesting. Uh, the Emolga that grabs the Pikachu is still around. Uh, we don't have uh, Raichu GX anymore, but I guess we have other stuff. So you can use the Emolga and search this. Pikachu. Uh, you got Volt Tackle 70 for 3. Um, okay, 10 damage yourself. And let's look at Raichu. Do you do anything good? So some wacky artwork, and you see it, you know, above in it's like the sky or some something. You see like buildings in the background, a city or something. Yeah, makes this Raichu feel like Spider-Man. Anyway, it also has nozzle. Okay, so you can search this with a Mulga too. So you can search all of them, and then powerful spark does 20 damage for each lightning energy attached to your Pokemon. Alright, so just like I've said, we don't have Raichu GX, but they basically, it's almost the same attack on a stage 1. Uh, it might even be better too, it works with 1 energy, which was one of the main problems of Raichu GX is that it needed to, uh, to work. So this, it's pretty much the damn same, maybe a little bit better. Stage 1, 120 HP is decent, but it's still going to die in one hit these days against anything. Uh, it's kind of sad it has double retreat since you write you. You should have had like three or at least one. And, you know, between Tabu Koko Prism, the Thunder Mountain, you know, I don't know if you're going to use Zekrom GX to grab lightning energies and then just use this. You just might as well play Pikaram at that point. But if people want to try, you know, this isn't a bad ability. You just need to get a lot of lightning energies around. I mean, now that I think about it, Magnezone is still out too. So we could use that. Uh, 20 damage for each lightning energy. So you would need, let's say, 10 times 2, 200. Yeah, you're going to need a fuckload to get one hit knock gods on Tag Team GXs. But if you want to try, this might be your guy. Yeah, it's just, the thing is, man, is that cards, they've got a lot of potential. Like, normally this card would have a lot of potential, this Raichu. You're thinking, okay, you know what, if I get like 10 times 2, it's 200. Put like a choice ban on, I can knock out stage 1 GX and shit, okay? But then, because of the tag teams, and there's such high HP, you know, it just makes all of these cards almost unplayable. Pretty much unplayable, actually. But anyways, we'll see. We got Magnemite and Magneton, but no Magnezone, so a type thing again. A Mirror Shot. Uh, that's not good. Magneton. Uh, assembly Signal. Once during your turn, you may knock out this Pokemon. If you do search your deck for up to three cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Ah, oh, God. Just another thing that's going to help out. Decks that don't need any more help. Uh, this is a good ability for sure. Uh, you give your opponent a prize, but when you're down in prizes, you open yourself up to other strategies, like, for example, the easy ones are stuff like N, uh, stuff like, uh, what's it called? Um, not red card, but the red button. Yeah, red button. And, uh, you know, other things that you can play, like you can play, um, uh, yeah, you can, you can play Lieutenant Surge, actually. You just make that live automatically and play double supporters at three cards. And you just make for a crazy setup. Uh, yeah, the, these abilities are broken uh, when certain cards are around. So yeah, just another thing, I don't, I, I like the artwork on this uh, Magneton, it's definitely interesting, uh, but 
it just makes for ugly tactics. Damn. I even said like I had a good feeling about this set and almost every card. It's just something that I am not really I'm not really looking forward to. Okay, so Galio and Lunala GX, the first tag team. And this is interesting. I think this might be the first card where they actually feature people too. So as you guys can see, there's Lily riding the so Galio there. And we're going to get more of these in the future, more in this set. Uh, but let's see what you do. So it's a psychic Pokemon, so already Malamar is a candidate to help this guy out. Cosmic Burn, uh, 230. This Pokemon can't use Cosmic Burn during your next turn. So it's pretty much the same attack as Reshiram and Charizard GX. The only difference is uh, Reshiram can use Welder to use that attack quick. Uh, Malamar is going to be a bit more slow, but it's still reliable. And Light of the Goddess GX. Okay, that's uh, a lot of high praise for um, Lily there. I'm pretty sure it's referring to her or something. If you play Lily's Resolve during this turn, during your opponent's next turn, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to all of your Pokemon in play. So yeah, I knew it has something to do with Lily. So Lily's Resolve is probably going to be a new supporter in this set. And you're not only going to do 200, uh, you prevent all effects of attacks, damage done to all of your Pokemon in play, so there won't be anything to get around this, minus uh, that new supporter, uh, the channeler or something. And that's about it. Uh, other stuff won't go over it. Even if you pull, you can't do any damage. Hmm. Wait a minute, though. I mean, so the plus isn't really for energies. It's just for the... Yeah, it just... It looks silly this way, though, because the plus was supposed to be, you know, plus extra energies. You do more damage or a n new effect. With this, you just need the supporter... So, I don't know. It just makes it. It makes it look kind of silly. It's just. It just really feels like they're running out of ideas. They don't know what to do. Ah. Oh well. This is a good card, though. This is a good card. Uh, even if you don't use a GX attack, uh, the first attack is pretty good. Two hundred seventy HP is high. I mean, you can even just use this in the Mewtwo GX box decks, and that's it. Uh, Psychic. Psychic Pokemon. Um, what else is there more? What else is there to say? Uh, you can search it out with Mysterious Treasure. Yeah. All right. Coughing and wheezing. What's up with you? Ability. Surprising bomb. Once during your turn, if this card was discarded using Roxy, in your turn, put one damage card on each of your opponent's Pokemon. I do this after the effect of Roxy. Yeah, okay. I get it. I get it. Is these uh, Pokemon working with uh, NPCs uh, or characters? I guess NPCs is another thing. And then toxic gas, tan, and poison. Okay. Put damage counters though on each of your opponent's Pokemon. You know that could be dangerous. Uh, let's look at this wheezing too. Same ability. Uh, once you turn this card, discard a Baroxy. Yeah, it's the same, pretty much. Oh, man, crazy dog barking outside. Uh, and you discard Balloon Burst, discard this Pokemon, and all cards attached to it. 90 for 2. What? Discard this Pokemon, and all cards attached to it. It's crazy. Anyway. I'm sure it. it could have some useful implications. I guess you don't give a prize. You can promote a wall or something. Uh, because it doesn't go in the deck though and it goes in the discard pile, then it's it's a bit different. We got Natu and Zatu next. What's up, little bird? It's sitting on an like, like it's not an egg, it's like a rock. Interesting. It's got some shit, uh Going there. Anyway, future sight. I'll look at the top cards of either player's deck, put them back in any order. Uh, yeah. 
another thing that could be used in the stall troll decks but I think they have better stuff like the little pick thing uh, pickaxe thing yeah people are going to use that instead of this Zadu creepy wind the fuck anyway this is the name of the attack your opponent's active Pokemon is not confused shitty and then life drain flip a coin if hits put damage counters your opponent's active Pokemon until it has 10 HP remaining okay so you wanna try and win with luck another Pokemon for your liking two energies and if you get heads you can do 260 damage on Reshiram and Charizard GX uh, yeah alright routes Curlia and Gallade. Oh, okay. No Gardevoir. Interesting. Got the Psychic little routes. Don't do much. Curlia. Hypnosis, Sleep, and then Spiral Kick. Uh, I kind of like the artwork, I think. Yeah, sometimes this sort of wacky artwork, it's, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it just works out great. Other times it doesn't, and it depends on the Pokemon too, I think. Anyways, uh, now Gallade. Uh, hope you're good. And it's got a good ability. Uh, double type. This Pokemon is both both Psychic and Fighting type. So I kind of like this ability. It's probably not as good these days as it used to be, but maybe I'm wrong. It, essentially what it gives you, it gives you more type coverage. So... Uh, you can activate it though. It's always it's always active. You don't like change it or something. So this is always gonna be both psychic and fighting. So it gets the benefit of uh, mysterious treasure. You can still search this since this is a psychic Pokemon uh, when it comes to the actual type. And then with the ability, you can take advantage of Deancey. All right, other fighting. Uh, cards and then power cyclone is your only attack that's a bit sad move an energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon so I guess you can conserve the energy but one for 20 for two what the fuck is that gonna do man it's not gonna do anything so your only hope is just hitting stuff for weakness and even then I mean you can't even KO Mewtwo GX anyway if it was at least 140 for two. God. It's just, they're very clear in their message that, okay, we're just going to give you stage two. They're a little bit good, but we're still, you know, our aim is for the tag team GXs to be the main attraction. So sad. And we got another Mimikyu hiding behind this tree. I think they've done this before. Impersonate. Discard one supporter card from your hand. Then use the effect of the supporter card as the effect of this attack. Okay, so I guess it just gives you the opportunity to use two supporters in a turn in a way. Alright. And then prank. Put two damage counters. Put two damage counters in two of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, yeah, okay, wait. That's actually 40 for 1 total. So this might be handy a little bit. First attack is decent too, but if you're not going to use Prank, then people are just going to use Jirachi. It's still better. But uh, yeah, it's a decent little basic Pokemon. Another one of these. We got Onyx. What's poppin', dude? A dig deep. Put an energy card from your disco ball into your hand. Seriously, man. Seriously. Yeah. And then tell smash. Okay, useless. Uh, hundred and get tails. Nothing. You got drill burr. Shuffle will come from your disco ball into your deck. Uh, this is a bit better. Is any recovery to the deck? And then excadrill. 11th hour tackle. What the fuck does that even mean? If there are three or fewer cards in your hand, this attack does 150 more damage. Oh, shit. Three or fewer cards. Oh, no, wait. It's in your deck, not your hand. Uh, so this is pretty much a gimmick. 
Wait a minute, though. It has another one, one energy attack. This is 120. Okay, so I think I'm feeling you. It's very risky, but I think I'm feeling you. So Drill Bazooka does 120 for one. And then you discard the top four cards of your deck. So that's never a good thing. Um, I mean, it's never really a good thing. But I guess the idea is that once you almost deck out, you can do 180 for one. <laughs> Uh, but that's still not going to get the job done. Yeah, one hit not guys. Uh, yeah, this is this Pokemon is kind of interesting. Probably won't do anything because it's just too risky. But um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I have some ideas, but I don't know if they're good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably not my type of Pokemon because I don't want to be milling. I mean, unless it's some sort of a Salamence attack that says you do 300 for 3 and then you mill 5. Then yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, please do something like that instead of this. Uh, but uh, this... Hmm, I don't know. Okay. And there's the Palpy Toad and the Seismic Toad uh, fighting Pokemon like I thought. You got Mini Earthquake. Uh, does 60 and then 10 damage to one of your opponent's pinch Pokemon. Okay, it doesn't hit your guys. Like that. Using the concept art of Palpitoad. And then this Seismitoad here. That looks pretty freaking whack. Smooth over. Once turn your turn, you may search your deck for a card and put that card on top of it. So it's actually just like the name Smooth Over of Macargo. It's the same thing, only this is a stage two. So it's probably it probably won't do much. But let's see, Trembling Fist, uh, 80 for four, and this attack is three more damage for each damage card in your bench Pokemon. Uh, so if you have five Hurt Dudes, no wait. 30 more damage for each damage kind of on your bench Pokemon. Alright, so... Let's say you have 4 damage counters in your bench. 4 times 3, that's 120. Uh, 200 for 4. Yeah, I guess you can do some stuff with the Spirit Tombs and this guy can do high damage, but with 4 energies in the stage 2, uh, you'll need some sort of miracle to power up. And yeah, I know, I see, I can see that it's compatible with triple acceleration, but yeah, you're going to need a lot of things to go right. You you got to use Spirit Tomb, put the damage counters on them. You got to uh, get this guy out, put the fighting energy, put the triple, hope this guy doesn't die, and then make sure if you're going to do this, you get one hit knock guts. I mean, even Nita Queen is more reliable at this point. Who knows, though, it might do something. You never know. Steelix fighting one. Oh no, wait, it's a metal one. Are you actually going to be good for once? Or are you always just going to have high HP? Uh, we got quite a few Steelixes recently. I mean, it started with Celestial Storm. We got a few other ones after that. And they just have high HP and shitty attacks. So what about you? Heavy Fall. Discard any number of cards from your hand that have a retreat cost of 4. And it's going to do 50 damage for each Pokemon discarded in this way. Okay, so it's only 2 energy, so maybe it's not too bad. So I guess you discard Pokemon. If you discard 4, you do 200. It's going to be difficult. I guess you can use the new Pokemon Maniac Collector. And it's going to help you out. Um, it's a stage. I mean, maybe. It's going to be hard, but maybe you can do something. And then Iron Tail. Ah, uh, yeah, this is just a coin flip attack. Uh, I'm going to drink a, a sip of water. One second, please. God damn. 
I don't know what's up with me. Before, you know, I used to make these videos for two hours. I didn't even need a drink. Uh, no, actually, yeah, I did drink back then too. Uh, Clefairy, now, just uh, a lone fairy Clefairy, okay? A ghostly doll, return this Pokemon and all cards attached to it to your hand. Then you may put Lily's Poke Doll from your hand into play as your active Pokemon. What? Lily's Poke Doll? Okay, so it has to do with an, a, a card that we haven't seen yet. Uh, return this Pokemon and all cards. Uh, okay. He does 62 for 3. Okay, so we'll see you later. Uh, but oh shit! Got another Tag Team GX. Reshiram and Zekrom GX. Tag team. Okay, so both of the broken dragons now. Reshiram from Reshiram and Charizard and Zekrom from Pikachu and Zekrom get combined. Are you going to be the best of them all? So this is a dragon card, uh, which is nice. Uh, weak to fairy, alright. And fire and lightning, the Rayquaza combination. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Will this be the card that I like? Unparalleled support. Discard up to three basic fire or lightning energy attached to your bench Pokemon. This attack does 90 damage for each energy discarded in this way. Oh my god. So it's not quite Rayquaza EX that I wanted, Dragon's Exalted style. But I think we're up there. I mean, you discard up to three basic fire or lightning. Um, so I don't know, um, you, I don't think you can attach, you can discard any more than that. Hmm, so I guess your maximum damage is going to be 180 and, is it 270? So, I, I don't like this because, you know, when you're, when you have a limit, eventually Power Crypt gets you. Like, for example, the Dusk Minute Cross Magix, it did 220. Uh, for 4, discard 3. And that was good when it was released, but now with Tag Team GXs, uh, you, you don't get the job done. Same with other cards like the old uh, Black Curium EX, capped at 200. Uh, or Quasi EX can go over that. This, you're, you're capped at 270. Uh, you discard either Fire or Lightning, so I can easily use this in Ray Eels and Ray Boar, uh, which is good. 270 is going to KO most of the Tag Team GXs. And, you know, that's pretty good. It's not going to go over that, which sucks. But, hey, I think it's a welcome uh, new replacement for a Quasi X at this point. So, finally, I'll be able to revisit those decks with a new attacker. That's good. Uh, if by some miracle I get this. And then Fusion Break GX, uh, this attack does 170 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And if you played Ends Preparation from your hand during this turn, this attack also does 170 damage to another of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Wow. So 4 Energy Snipe, 170. This is good. I mean, it requires Far End Lightning, which... Uh, it's, it's even distribution too, which makes it a bit difficult if I use it in Raybor and uh, and or Rails. But it's a good attack. Uh, I, I mean, the extra is uh, if you played Ends Preparation and then you do 170 to another bench Pokemon. I wish you could do this in the active too. Uh, this annoys me because it makes it sort of a shittier version of Zegrom GX's Tag Team GX attack. Uh, but it's it's still good, man. I mean, 340, if your opponent doesn't play Mew or something, uh, you're going to win the game with this. And I think just playing N is a lot easier than having six energies on, but we'll have to wait and see if N is good, the new N. I'm very curious, actually. Uh, we've only ever had, like, one N supporter, and that was broken. So this, this card is very good. It's my kind of card. It's pretty much going to replace uh, Rayquaza and Rayborn. So I guess the time has finally come. So for as long as, you know, hitting 270 is good, this guy's going to be good. Yeah, from, from what I understand, that's how it is. Uh, you can discard less, but you can't discard more than three. 
uh, yeah. And you can discard from any of your Pokemon to like on the bench, which makes things pretty interesting for Ray Eels. It makes it better. So yeah, it's just a really nice expanded card for someone like me. Now in the standard format, I don't know if it's going to be easy to power this guy up. It basically combines the, the most broken support we have now, Fire and Lightning. So... I guess you can use like Welder and Tabu Koko Prism and just make a sort of fucking crazy, you know, get the best of both worlds, Fire and Lightning. Yeah, so it might be good in Standard too. Uh, who knows? I'm, it might just even be broken actually, and I'm downplaying it. But uh, I just, I just see me using it in Expanded. That's what I care about. And we got Lily Pup. Uh, what the fuck? You're sitting low. Kind of like a cat here. Anyway, baby doll eyes. Can't retreat. Okay. And then tackle. We got her deer. Sup. Work up. Uh, and just 60 more damage. Okay. Whatever. And then Stoutland. Growl, growl back. When you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, uh, when this Pokemon receives damage, what? In the battlefield? Uh, you may use this ability. Discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, so it's kind of a weird effect the way it's worded here. It says off on the battlefield, so I don't know what the fuck. But if, if the shit is right, there's no errors. Basically, when you evolve into this, you discard an energy on your opponent's active Pokemon. And every time this guy gets hit, you discard an energy. Uh, which is, it's actually strong. I mean, these days, even with 150 HP, you're going to die in one shot. But that's some, that's some decent energy discarding there. And then you can do Overrun, 110 for 3, and then 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Dude, are you fucking serious with me now? Are you serious with me? You know, st a stage 2 Pokemon that does 110 for 3, and you're just going to do 30 more to an opponent's bench Pokemon, so 140 damage total. Like, I can show you cards from, like, Black and White or the Diamond and Pearl era that can hit that kind of damage for back then. And I don't care that you can just use a triple acceleration energy with this guy. You need, they need to do more damage to stage 2s, if they're even going to do anything. I mean, Garchomp from Unified Minds does so much damage when you're behind in prizes, and it's still not doing shit. And then they just give me an attack like this. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. Anyway, but I doubt, I doubt people are going to use it for the... If anything, you're just going to use it for the ability. And then maybe the attack is going to be like a bonus. Since you can, you can use it with triple acceleration, I guess. Anywho, Silver Lee GX and Type Null, a new one. Air Slash. Discard an energy. Touch this Pokemon. Okay, we got a new Silver Lee GX. Oh fuck! Disc reload. Once turn you. Turn, draw cards until you have five. Oh shit! So it's artillery back again. So this is gonna be a very very good Pokemon. Uh, if we learned anything, if you learned anything from the history of playing Pokemon TCG, uh, you know abilities like this are always good. It's a draw ability. It's in a stage one. It's also a GX, meaning that you know it's. It, it, It'll be able to take a hit. Like it's not going to be like artillery, where if your opponent wants to pull it, they can easily kill it. And it's a colorless Pokemon too, so you can splash this in just about any deck. Okay, so I fancy this Pokemon a lot. Uh, normally, I'm not the kind of person that likes to use uh, ability draw Pokemon, but this I could see myself using in some decks. You got Buddy Brave. If you played a supporter card from your hand. Wow, 70 and 50, so 120 for 2. Not bad, not bad. Especially in Expanded, where you got DC. This Pokemon is going to be great. And then White Knight GX. 
Oh my fucking God. White Knight GX. Okay, so when I hear White Knight, I think of other stuff, but anyway. Uh, white Knighting, anyway. Uh, what idiots do. Anyway, uh, if your opponent's active Pokemon is an Ultra Beast, that Pokemon is knocked out. Okay, so it's got some, a meta relevant attack too. That later is not going to be very good. Uh, but you can KO Ultra Beast in one shot with this if you want to. So it's interesting. It's not going to work with any of the discs, the disc drives. Um, you know, it would have been pretty cool if they gave it like double ability. But I mean, I guess then we're just going to have one attack. Uh, I think it would have been cool. Uh, but I mean, it's a GX, so it needs to have a GX attack. Yeah, okay, scratch what I said. But it's very good, this disc reload ability, drawn to have five. Uh, this might be the best card from this set, just because of this. It will see a lot of play, I assure you. And then Lioness Fishing Rod. Okay, I'm really curious about this card. When I scrolled down before, I'm thinking to myself, okay, Fishing Rod, Super Rod, but this one is Lioness. So shuffle one Pokemon and a Pokemon tool from your disc pile back into your deck. Okay, so it's not quite Super Rod. Um, you're only going to get one Pokemon. It has to go into the deck. But then you can bring back a tool too, which is interesting. Just two cards. Um, so I guess you can play it a lot earlier than Super Rod. I mean, it's, it's pretty interesting. I don't think... Um, I mean, I, I guess if you run tools, you want to recycle something. I don't know. Uh, Super Rod and Rescue Stretcher are definitely better. But maybe because we don't have either around, uh, this, this will be something. Okay. Lana. Your rod is a bit disappointing. Okay, and there's the Lily's Polka Doll. I wonder what the fuck does this do? So play this card as a 30 HP basic Pokemon. If it's your turn, you may return this card from the battlefield again uh, to the bottom of your deck. Discard all cards attached to this card. Uh, cannot retreat. Even if this card is knocked out, your opponent cannot take a prize. So yeah, it's almost like the Polka Doll in Phantom Forces, which was a very annoying card for the hit and switch decks. Pretty broken. And, hmm, so what you're going to do with this, I mean, I don't see how, I, I guess you're going to use this with Clefairy, swap it, and play this down. Um, I don't know, I mean, it's, I think just people are just going to use it as a fucking polka doll, just have it as a wall there, it won't give a prize while you stall. You know, Hitmonchan is already in standard. It's a bit annoying and expanded. Uh, so now that it can use this too in standard, I mean, uh, it's just it's a bit too slow for Reshiram. You know, these kinds of decks that heal. Uh, but against other stuff, it might be good. Who knows? It's an annoying kind of card, but. You know, the tag team GX is sort of uh, don't care too much. That's the thing. Yeah. We got Will. Okay. So, just going to digress a little bit. But, you know, Will, to me, is one of the most useless as characters in the Pokemon universe. And I hope I don't piss people off. But, to me, he's like a shittier Lucian uh, from Diamond and Pearl. He's just a forgettable guy from the Elite Four in Johto. And they made him into a card. Uh, yeah, he's just its pretty half-assed, dude. The stuff he says is pretty half-assed as well. Yeah. So after you play after you play this card, this turn for the... What? This turn for the first flip coin you make. Yeah, so the text is kind of fucked up. But from what I understand, when you play this card... Uh, the first coin flip you make from attacks, abilities, or trainer cards, you decide if you want to treat it as heads or tails. Interesting. 
and broken actually so think about all of the all of the Pokemon that have these sort of fucking ass attacks that say um, if you get heads like the we reviewed a card that said if you get heads uh, that Zadu put damage counters until your opponent has 10 left and other Pokemon with other broken ass abilities like that um, it's pretty fucking crazy man Uh, I mean, maybe using this with something like um, Crushing Hammers won't be that good because he wastes his supporter for the turn. But I don't know. I mean, I think people will use it. Why the fuck do they... I mean, to be fair, a lot of these troll cards, they're cards that didn't get printed before. So they're kind of creative in a way. I mean, we've never seen a kind of card like this. Okay? But... They just they just support a, a type of play, a strategy that is just so fucking annoying. You know, stall, troll, run you out of energies, run you out of cards, uh, not let you play. You know, these kinds of tactics. They just escape for how the Pokemon TCG was meant to be played. It's just too much. You know, if there's one kind of deck like that around, okay, great. But there's billions of them with all the cards they have. So this card is going to contribute to it. I think I think there will be a broken deck made and it's going to rely on this card cuz controlling the coin flip it's it's a bit crazy. You can choose ability, trainer and attacks too. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, and there's ends preparation. So I'm very curious about you. So, there's a bright light is like is making creating a light or something like dude is this some fucking uh one piece shit or something i don't know anyway discard the top six cards from your deck the top six cards from your deck and if any of those cards are basic energy attach them to one of your dragon pokemon in play hmm So, you're going to need a way to stack your deck, but I think we have a few ways to do that. Um, in expanded, action, but I mean, you know what? It's just too risky. It, I think it's just too risky. Uh, people will use it. They'll risk it. They'll find ways to mitigate the effect, but it's not my kind of card. Maybe I'm bad. I mean, I'm just glad I can still use... Reshram and Zekrom, but I was hoping for better then. I really did. Uh, if you do have like a high energy kind of deck, um, you can potentially get a bunch of energies with this and power up your dragons. And it doesn't have any energy requirements. It can be on any dragon, any basic energy. So is is very interesting very interesting to say the least okay I mean I, I was curious if it was gonna be some something else because it's N okay then we got Roxy black and white 2 gym leader discard up to two Pokemon yeah excluding GX and EX from your hand then draw three cards for each Pokemon discarded in this way so this is basically the same effect as the Ultra Beast Recon Squad. The only difference is this works with any Pokemon minus GXs. So yeah. If you discard just one, then this card isn't good. If you discard two, then this card is good because you're going to draw six straight up. Is this right? Discard up two Pokemon, then draw... Uh, yeah, draw three. So, it's basically you discard two for, um, for six, so six minus two is a straight draw four, okay. So yeah, it's, you, you, you're going to want to discard the wheezings and the coughing printed here.
to get that plus. So, I mean, wheezing decks, the wheezing spread decks have kind of died off since there's no DC, there's no the double, double, not rainbow energy, the, the counter energy and all those energies. Uh, but in expanded, you could do this, you could use this. And if they ever get like, a, they can come back, you might use this. Probably. I mean, I kind of like it in that it's just, it, it works with any Pokemon. So, it makes for an interesting supporter. In sort of Pokemon heavy decks, I could probably use this. As long as they're not GX or EX. Interesting. It's a good supporter. I think it's a nice supporter to have around. Then we got Rose. So this is pretty cool. So this is, you know, the the characters in the characters we play in the Pokemon games. You know, they're supposed to be anybody. And unless you go to the Pokemon manga, they're not really any characters you see in the anime and stuff, or in the games they can be anybody. So I guess this this chick is called Rosa, not Rose. Rosa. I didn't know that. I don't read, never read the Pokemon manga. There's some that I want to read, but there's just so many things that I just interested in doing. Uh, but okay, so Rosa, what do you do? I'm pretty sure this is from Black and White Two, not the first game. The female character, if you if you select female, and this card cannot be used unless one of your Pokemon was knocked out last turn. Search your deck for Pokemon, Trainer, and Basic Energy. Reveal them, put them into your hand. Wow, so it's kind of like Teammates. But instead of getting two cards, you're going to get three. Only it has to be a Pokemon, Trainer, and Basic Energy. So this is pretty interesting. I mean, it gives you an extra card, but I think Teammates is better because you can get whatever the hell you want. You can just get two Trainers. You can get two Pokemon. Uh, yeah, Teammates is better, but Teammates is only an Expanded now. So people that want to use a card like Teammates but can't because it's standard, this is going to be a close a close replacement for them. So it's another good card. I think if I made a comparison between Teammates, uh, Teammates would win. But, you know, in some decks, when maybe you know you want to get like an Energy, a Pokemon, and a Trainer, uh, it's very limiting. But it's a great card. It's a supporter that's going to see play. Once again, helps out troll decks, but what can you do? Uh, this card is good. It's good to have around. Then we got Clay. So there's a black and white theme going on here. Damn. So discard the top seven cards from your deck. Another discard from your deck. Crazy dude. Reveal all the item cards discarded in this manner and put them into your hand. Oh, right. So I see. Okay, so with this dude... You sort of uh, make your make your uh, Excadrill help make his attack alive, the deck out attack, while you're grabbing stuff into your hands, so or you're mitigating maybe the you're gonna grab trainers, you're not gonna discard them. But I don't know, it just it feels like it's still wishful thinking to try a strategy like this. I think it's pretty broken though in any other deck than that because gonna let you get items easily I don't know I think I think just it makes another good card to make a comparison with things like Bill uh, Green Search Scala those kind of cards we'll see uh, I see it seen playing seen things like I'm new to maybe stuff like fuck I don't know um, Malamar perhaps even could see play and then there's Lily's Resolve. Draw four cards. If you have three or more cards in your hand, three or more cards in your hand, at the end of the turn, return cards to the top of your deck so your hand has two. So this gives you the opportunity to draw straight four, but you gotta, you better play them, play them, because if you have three or more cards in your hand, then you're going to have to stack them back in the deck. So it's not a supporter that I like. But I guess you gotta use it if you're gonna use maybe so Galio and Lunology X, um, whatever. Yeah, the these supporters besides Roxy uh, weren't very good. 
uh, these sort of uh, Pokemon supporters working with Pokemon. And I guess Clay could be broken. Ro Rosa, Rosa and Roxy are good, uh, but uh, no, uh, Rosa ha doesn't do any anything with Pokemon. It's just N, Roxy, uh, Lily, and Clay, kind of Clay in a way. All right, and then wow, some. I think these are secrets or something. So I don't know, but yeah. So Dream League secrets. You got these awesome. There's Flannery with Troquel. Man, it's pretty freaking awesome. I'm just so annoyed that these cards aren't very good. So this is a Troquel with Far Fling, but it's not. It looks awesome with this Flannery, but it's not good. And you got the Weavile with Cyrus, also pretty cool. It's too bad this card isn't nice as well. It's very good as well. Uh, they're not competitive, what I mean to say. They're good looking, nice artwork, uh, cool looking cards, but they're not competitive. You got Don with the Piplup. I think this card is going to be worth a lot, especially considering the Empoleon deck might be something from here. And you got Wishy Washy with Lana. Wow. Is she she's supposed to be underwater, right? I think. Yeah, kinda cool. And then you got Pikachu and there's a red on it. This one's also gonna be a lot of money, I think. Pretty cute. Man, red looks like such a short kid here. <laughs> uh, alright. Cool. And then there's Lieutenant Surge uh, with Magnemite. If only this Magnemite was kind of cool, then I would have been able to use it in Magnezone decks. Yeah, it's these cards that I basically saw and thought, hey, that's interesting. Pokemon with trainers on them. Uh, but I guess it's just uh, the same. It's sort of a different versions from other cards. But you know what? I'd rather have stuff like this instead of the rainbow fucking secret rares. Uh, these are much more interesting much more creative. Uh, and there's the coughing with surprising bomb and there's Roxy there. Yeah, this reminds me of Purple Rain, the Prince song. Uh, yeah. R.I.P. Prince. Uh, I only liked some of his songs, but anyway. Uh, there's Gallade and Wally. I think this one's gonna be pretty good too. It's an Oras card. Not a uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald card. And then there's Mimikyu. And there's the uh, Acerola there. Uh, it's a pretty nice gaze she's given. I like this one. Pretty cool. And then there's Steelix with Jasmine. Fuck me. Yeah, it's too bad Steelix sucks. I mean, Heavy Fall might be good. We'll see. But yeah, there's Jasmine. Stoutland. Oh my god, is, is it going to be Charon? Oh yeah, my boy Charon in this bitch. Fucking love Charon, man. Uh, yeah, I need to get... I still didn't get like the full art. Draw three cards anyway. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Looking pretty good. With his Stoutland. And there's Vileplume GX. This one is going to be for Erika. Now this, because it's a Tag Team GX2, this is probably going to be worth some dollars, some money. Cool. Uh, you're going to get poison sleeping over there, though. <laughs> anyway. And so Galio Lunala GX with Lily once again. All right, all right. And then you got Reshiram and Zekrom with N. You're not supposed to have both of them, but whatever, okay. Silvely and Gladion, okay, I don't give a fuck about this one, but... Looks kind of cool, you know, it's nice artwork. I'll have to look good together. And then uh, we got some full arts here. I don't know if it's going to show. Yeah, it did show. 
Oh man, N looks like a badass here. It's got the hat on too. Yeah, this guy's pretty cool as well. I don't like the effect though. I wish it was something better. And uh, should I just click on the rest too? There's Rosa. I find it kind of weird. They gave us Rosa, but not the the dude, I guess. The male version. And then look at them. They're still doing these fucking rainbow ones. Why you gotta do it? I suppose they're gonna be doing it. And the secret rares, Lana's fishing rod, other secret rares, the gold stuff. I'll leave this poker down part blind. Okay. So, a little verdict before I sign off here. I'm not going to lie, I was actually expecting a lot more from this set. I just basically scrolled down and I'm thinking, okay, some cool cards, cool artwork. I'll look at these Pokemon with trainers cards here, but they just ended up being alternate art cards. Uh, yeah. Mm. You know, as the last set from Sun and Moon, this is going to be bundled for Cosmi in Cosmic Eclipse, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty. It's a pretty good way, I guess, to see off the era. Uh, but I just can't really pick a lot of cards that stand out to me. Uh, Zekrom and Reshiram GX, I like. Vileplume, it didn't end up exactly how I wanted, but I kind of like Vileplume too. And Polyon is should be pretty cool as well. And then the rest, I mean, Resh I mean, Raichu is good, uh, but not really. There's a bunch of other Pokemon that seem good, but not really. <clears throat> uh, Gallade, the same. So, I guess... Uh, excuse me, I can't hold it. I suppose... We'll just get a few decent GXs like the Lunala and uh, Solgalia too. Could see play in decks. And not much else. The rest is just going to be kind of filler. Uh, oh, and Silver EGX. I can't forget about that guy. So this is definitely a good card, Silver EGX. An excellent card, actually. So a few decent things. Because it's going to be in Cosmic Eclipse, uh, they're going to be in there anyway. Uh, some annoying cards that I don't want to come into the format, but we'll see if they end up being as bad as I think they will be. Decent little set. Not really many, too many good straight up items. We only get like two. Uh, supporters, some decent ones and a few uh, mediocre ones, but you never know. Maybe they're going to be good too. So yeah, I guess just a decent little set, but I just, I had better hopes for it. Uh, the previous one, the remix bat, it just, when you look at that, you understand that, okay, it's just going to be more of the same. The best decks just get more support. Uh, this, you kind of see some different stuff, but not really. Maybe, maybe Empoleon will be a decent anti-meta deck, who knows, anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this set review. I think I rambled far too long for just 50 cards in the set. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like and share this video with your friends. Uh, bear with me with the TCG Online matches. I know I've been kind of half-assed lately with them, but I'm not feeling the TCG, to be honest, too much. Expanded and standard for various reasons. I'm really hoping this set does something, but... <sighs> we'll just have to wait and see. Just have to wait and see. No other thing... I have to say. So thank you guys for watching. Say Rule Final Four. Ain't but say.